Hi, Mr. Sharp. My name is Melanie Howell, and I'm a fifth grade teacher on a small barrier island off the coast of Georgia. I was showing one of your book recommendation videos to my class, and the question was posed, well, if they make all these book recommendations through their teacher, I wonder who's recommending books to those kids. So I came up with a quick idea to make a video and um, let your class know some of the books my class would recommend to them. The first book is an oldie buddy goodie, Where the Red Fern Grows. Yes, I have a little girl in love with this book. She loves the dogs that are in this book. She's a real animal girl, and anybody that loves animals will love this book. The next book is Spy School. I know you've heard of this, but Again, it's one of those books that um, is just catching fire through fifth grade this year and the other books in the series as well. But again, if your kids like action, adventure, a quick pace book, this book is fantastic and very popular. If your kids are fans of The Lemonade Wars, I have some kids that love this book. This is, I believe, the last book in the series. Honestly, I'd have to look that up. But I think it's the last book in the series, Candy Smash. And the feud continues. Um, I have a couple of kids that just love the relationship between the siblings, and they think it's pr a pretty funny read. So if you like a funny read, guys, this one's for you. If you're one of those kids who thinks, you know, when I'm at school, I really love to read. But when I'm at home on a Saturday, reading is not usually my first choice. Yeah, there are a couple people like that around here too. But these two books, I'm telling you, action-packed, great reads. One, Alex Ryder. Of course, the whole series is fantastic. And I too have a student who is listening to this book and reading along with Audible. and. He says he's just about finished the entire series, but absolutely loves Alex Ryder. And the other one, this is an older book that maybe some of your kids haven't heard of. It's called Zack's Lie. It starts off um, with right in the middle of a super exciting part, and then the story backs up to sort of catch you up with wh what's happening, and then it moves forward. This is a book you won't be able to put down. I read this earlier this year. It's fantastic. A Long Walk to Water is being passed around through fifth grade this year. Um, some of the kids read it over the summer, actually, and came in all of us about this book. Um, it's about one of the Lost Boys. Uh, it takes place in the Sudan. It's um, different from what a lot of them read last year in fourth grade. It's been a very popular book in fifth grade. But here's one of my favorites, too. The Mysterious Benedict Society. We love this book. This is our current shared read. Just the characters and the, the way the author brings in sensory details and uh, just the, all the internal conflicts. We've been having a lot of fun dissecting the characters and their internal conflicts. This is a fantastic book, and it is the first book of a series. The next book is a book I haven't read, and I need to, because one of my guys took, checked this book out on like Friday and came back on Monday, and he was like, oh, I need to sign the chart. I finished my book. And I was like, really? You read that book over the weekend? Wow. And you know, I'll admit, I'm a teacher, and I did kind of think, hmm, I wonder if he read it too fast. I wonder if he really understood the story. So I said, so, tell me about this book. The book is Cherub. And he said, well, actually, Miss Hal, technically, it's kind of about drug dealers. And he completely had my attention. And then he said this was one of the best books he's ever read. He just went on and on about how he couldn't put it down, recommended it to a friend. Now the friend's almost finished. Love, love, love. But it's about these kids, and they're trying to take down these drug dealers. It's a great, again, action-packed, quickly moving story starting to detect a theme in my fifth grade class. We seem to like these. I know Mr. Sharp is a fan of the next book, and you may have already read it this year. 
refugee. How can anybody get through fifth grade and not read refugee? You have to read it. This book is so fantastic. It's three stories in one, but I absolutely love the way the author, the first story takes place the furthest back in history. It's all the way back at World War II. And then the second one takes place about 1994, Cuba, refugees coming to Miami. And then the most recent takes place with the Syrian refugees. This book will keep you on the edge of your seat. And the way um, the author structures his writing. There are so many parallels between the three stories. As we read it, we're paying special attention to all the different ways the author reveals love of family as a theme. I mean, even though it's super exciting and even though there are these dangerous situations, love of family is a great theme. Okay, Mr. Sharps class, we hope you enjoyed our book recommendations to you and we hope you have a great rest of the year. I will put my email address down in the description below. So if you guys wanna email us any more of your favorite recommendations, we sure would like to hear from you guys. And I'll tell you this, my class saw that classroom library on the shelves behind Mr. Sharp in the video and we might've been a little jealous. Okay guys, bye.